This is Michael Forrester with CoCloud. Today I'm going to share an exciting story about a DevOps hero named Alex who embarked on an adventure in the world of platform engineering. So back in 2017, Alex was working at a tech company as a DevOps engineer struggling with software development challenges. He was supporting a Git server. He was supporting a CID server and a build server and all of these other processes around provisioning and configuring. His developers on the team were having a hard time navigating all of the various components and they felt overwhelmed by the complexity of it all, especially when it came to software development and software deployment. So Alex thought about this and one day during his thoughts and research, he stumbled upon an article by ThoughtWorks about on this tech radar that talked about how engineering teams were using platforms to make a difference in the friction and difficulty of deployment for engineers. So Alex imagined a world where he could design and build a magical toolbox, a platform, very similar to what was referred to in the ThoughtWorks ideology, that he could use to make software development easier for his team and deployment easier for his team. He was inspired by this article by the top performing tech companies of the past decade who had built their own magical toolboxes, our own platforms known as internal developer platforms. These IEPs, or just platforms, helped developers at these companies work more efficiently while reducing their workload and allowing the developers to focus on what was important to them, development. However, Alex faced a challenge. He realized that while he understood CI/CD, he knew Git and Git servers, he understood build processes and build servers and development processes, he didn't really understand how to make all this easy to use. How do you make a frictionless or low friction platform so developers can use it easily? So he asked around and someone gave him a great idea. They said, look at what Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and the other successful companies are doing. And he came to the conclusion, I need a service, a front end service that developers can use to pick and choose how they want to configure and deploy their software and where they source it from. And that was when he realized that he needed to create a catalog of the various services that he was offering for his developers that gave them options and that he could slowly expand this with features over time, but that would be the centralizer for all these components. With this new insight, Alex focused on making his platform as useful as possible for his team. He talked to them about their common problems, captured what was needed to solve them, and he put those solutions into his platform. And the main magic of his internal developer platform was that it connected all of these complex parts of the software development process and it distilled it down to a few decisions in his service catalog, making it easier and more efficient for anyone and everyone to deploy. So that's our end of our story for today around Alex. But if you're inspired by Alex's journey and you wanna connect with fellow platform builders, there is a platform engineering Slack channel, which you can find on Slack, which is a great place to start. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories like this. And until next time, keep engineering your own adventures. I'm Michael Forrester. We'll see you then.